Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Mark, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your camera's 3.5 millimeter mic jack input as a backup audio recording to your audio field recorder. All right, let's get started. Roll that intro. All right, now as a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm going to be using the Tascam DR70D here. A lot of the principles we're going to see will apply to other field recorders, but this is really sort of specifically targeted towards that model. So to start, we're going to take the 3.5 millimeter line out from the Tascam and run that into the 3.5 millimeter input of your camera, just using a standard 3.5 millimeter cable. Now with that 3.5 millimeter line plugged in, we're going to go into our camera's mic settings and we're going to do a couple things. First, and this is very important, we're going to disable any automatic gain adjustments that the camera's making. This gives us, the filmmaker, creative control over how much audio input we're going to allow pass through these audio preamps. Now, with that being said, let's talk about those preamps for a minute. On these mirrorless and DSLR cameras, the audio preamps really aren't that great. It's one of the ways that they're able to cut the cost and keep things cheap for you, the consumer. But unfortunately, it results in a little bit of a hissy audio feel. So by dialing that input all the way down, we're going to have the camera doing less work, the audio recorder doing more work that it's designed to do, and we're going to get a cleaner signal overall. For just a minute here, we're going to shift our focus over to the field recorder. On my task in here, I'm going to go to menu, monitor, output gain, and I'm going to switch this over to line. Now, technically, the 3.5 millimeter jack on my Nikon D3300 that I'm using for an example here is a mic level input as is most consumer electronics. However, from experience, I know that this is going to be a very quiet input. And with a little bit of testing, I've found that the Nikon's 3.5 millimeter jack can actually handle a line signal and handles it pretty darn well. So this will again, just help us to keep those audio levels down inside of the camera's recording and save those preamps from having to do any work on the Nikon side. All right, so to make sure that we're getting proper audio levels in the camera, first we're going to go into our field recorders menu, go to monitor again, and now we're going to go to output level. Now this is where we're going to have a little bit of trial and error. At the moment, I have mine set to zero. This should be your default setting. After we have the setting on zero and we're in our mic input menu on the DSLR, we're going to start a new recording inside of the task cam. Now this is a little bit of a quirky way of doing it. And unfortunately, it's the only way of doing it on this task cam. What we're going to do is with this recording started, we're going to hold down the slate button. This will put out a tone at minus 12 decibels exactly. You can see here on this close up where it's hitting those levels. And we're just going to see how the minus 12 dB on the task cam compares to what the camera is receiving. So keeping in mind what our target level is here, that minus 12 decibels, we're going to go back into the menu of the task game after cutting our recording. And we're going to go to output level and tweak this up or down as needed until the camera's mic input matches the minus 12 decibels that we're putting out from the task game. So with a little bit of finessing here, playing with the settings, you can see that now we have them lining up. This is what we want because it means that we don't have to worry about the signal that the camera's getting. It's going to be basically the same as what the task game is getting at all times. And therefore, you have a nice clean backup signal. Or if you don't want to deal with syncing in post, you might even be able to find that this is clean enough for your purposes. And you can just use the camera's internal audio instead of relying on the field recorder. Now, this is great if you're working with a single microphone. But what if you want to make use of the four total inputs that you have on this task cam? Well, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use all four. But you can still use two of the outputs. So in order to do that, we're going to go into our basic settings, make sure that we have our two microphones enabled that we're wanting to use. And we're just going to pan one of these all the way to the left and one of them all the way to the right. Now the task cam is going to be outputting a stereo signal to the camera that has the audio channel of one microphone on the left stereo channel, a one channel of audio from the other microphone on the right audio channel. If you need to get these separated out so you can have two usable sources of audio, I have another video on that. Check that one out on my channel. All right, and that's gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you have another glorious day. 
I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.